Hi. I'm actually leaving the beach. Got a little bit more of a suntan. I apologize for the sun coming this way because the sun actually sets in the west. Had a beautiful day at the beach. Got a chance to relax and have some r and R time. I always feel that it's very important for people to spend a little bit more time out in nature. So before I get ready to leave the beach, let me show you how many people are actually here. I'll show you what it looks like around 4.30 or 4.45. Okay, so this is the parking lot. Just gonna pan over. There's some people coming down to have dinner here at the beach. I was right there by the lifeguard station. Swimming out there in this big, huge tidal pool. The sun is actually still out. It just looks overcast because my phone is actually in the car. And it goes all the way this way. That's actually the car mount that I put my phone in. You put your phone in right here and I'm able to go ahead and talk to you. But I'll move this way and show you to be able to pavilions off to the side so some people are having a little bit of a gathering there I'll pan across this way past the car mount that's me right there the radio mirror and that's the beach that I like to come at at least two to three times a week to kind of chill out journal relax swim snorkel Got you back in the car mount. Let's buckle up for safety as we're heading home. I can see the cleanup committee, which are the birds, and eat all the leftover crumbs that people left on the table. Let's reverse and head home. It was a beautiful day at the beach. The weather was perfect. Came down around 12 noon. Brought my hat, brought some fresh fruit, pineapple, mango. Put a little bit of chopstick because my lips are a little bit of parched. The sun is still actually out, but it is getting a little late and I wanted to head home so I can start with dinner. I apologize for the sun in my face, so I have my uh, visor. They're gonna end up blocking it a little bit turn up my air conditioning and we can have a chat on the way home on the way home from the beach so I had a subscriber that asked what kind of stuff do I actually take to the beach so I have this visor which is a visor love holla um, hat I have my wide brim hat um, these are actually Jim's sunglasses. I have no idea where it's from. And then I normally carry my sunglasses from Key. I always have it in its clear case. I keep that in my beach bag, but I brought it up front because I wasn't sure whether I had a pair of sunglasses actually in my car. I'm with my sarong right here. Black and white sarong. I just kind of wrapped it around my off the shoulder uh, bathing suit. And that's how I go home from the beach with my hat and my sunglasses. But other than that, the beach was really nice. There was a lot of people. I could tell that since the boat is actually in at the dock, there was a lot of tourists that come off, come off of the boat and they like to go down to the beach. So they have a shuttle service that'll actually take people uh, to wherever they want because it's like a big open uh, tidal pool where small children can end up playing in the sand and then I, I think the deepest it's ever been on high tide is probably maybe seven feet in the deepest part of the lagoon that I swim at over here so it's really nice because I can do laps back and forth I can snorkel I can look for fish I can look for uh, shells which I do I actually have a nice uh, glass vase and what I do is I have a Ziploc bag, so every time I come in and out of the water, I'll 
bring the shells out, rinse them in the shower, and then put them in my vase. I have another vase at home on my shelf. One day I'll actually show you some of the shells that my son and I collected when he was little. Every Wednesday after school, I used to take him down to the beach as a reward for like midweek, like hump day kind of thing. And we both used to end up collecting shells. And those shells I still kind of have. So every time I look at them, I remember all those wonderful memories of taking him to the beach when he was a lot younger. He was probably in elementary school. Yeah, he was in elementary school back then. So now what I do is when Jim and I are at the beach or when Jim's daughter comes with me, um, we collect shells. And then when we come mm -hmm. home, we rinse them out and then put them in my glass vase. So maybe one day, I, the glass vase is actually in the living room. So if I can remember one day, I'll go ahead and show you how much shells we've accumulated. I've just been collecting shells and just not thinking about it. I used to actually have it like in a jar. I just keep the jar in my beach bag and then when the jar fills up, I'll empty it out. But now I try to make it a point that since I come down with a, a pint size Ziploc bag, I'll collect whatever shells I want and then when I go home, I'm able to rinse it out and then dry it out on a paper towel and then put it into that particular vase. Ooh, lots of buses. The boat is in. The tourist boat is in. And so is the barge. Our barge delivery comes in on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The boat, I think, comes in on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Lots of tourists coming to the islands and enjoying themselves. In fact, they were today just down at the beach. There were, um, I think, like three couples that were off of the boat because there's a shuttle that takes them either to the mall, downtown, farmer's market. Of course, there's separate tourist um, destinations like the Hawaii Volcano National Park, Akaka Falls, Rainbow Falls. Um, I actually take them over to the other side of the island because I think the boat docks for like two days on the big island. And then it goes over to the west side of the island. Around the It goes around the opposite side of the island. And then it ports there. So if you don't want to go over to Kailua Kona or the west side of the island, the boat will probably dock, I think, maybe one or two days there. And then you can jump off on that port there. So they're able to catch a ferry, come on to land and do shopping, walk around, um, get some souvenirs for their family members that they want to take back, and then hop back on the boat, do all of their island hopping. So for those of you who don't like driving around Hawaii, you have the option of catching the cruise line. I think it's a five day or seven day. I want to say five days because it actually starts off um, on Oahu or Honolulu where Waikiki is and then I mean since you're flying in there you could probably do two days on Oahu which you could probably want to do like three days on Oahu because there's so much to see there you know do a luau do some shopping um, go to Olive Moana shopping center it's a huge huge um open air mall there's a beautiful food court there's stuff for kids there's arcades there's shopping there's high-end shopping um and other affordable shops and local shops there's um places in the food court you can eat there's hawaiian plates you can eat in fact i think in the food court there's probably like 30 different places that you can end up eating just at the um ala moana shopping center if you want to go ahead and Google that, you can see what it looks like. And then I'm sure the boat probably goes to Kauai for one or two days. It comes to the big island definitely for two days because it stops off in Hilo and in Kailua Kona. And then it stops off in Maui. Maui is also very beautiful. Jim and I are thinking of going back to Maui, leaving on a Friday and coming back on a Sunday and doing some island hopping or inter-island traveling or I call it a staycation because we're still in the same state we're just taking inter-island flights on Hawaiian Airlines 
and hopping from one island to the next. So, you know, either be Oahu, where Waikiki is, for two days, and then, or maybe the island of Maui. We're not sure yet. He's going to be putting in his vacation, and then again, I'm not sure whether I want to be vlogging on my vacation. The last time I went to Maui, I vlogged, not a lot, mostly the airport, because everybody was pretty inquisitive of what does the airport actually look like. So I did that. Uh, I did the QKC Mall. And then the rest of the time, we just wanted to relax. It was just two days in Maui. And I love going over to Lahaina and Whaler's Village. So if we, do, so if we go back to Whaler's Village of Maui, then I'll end up uh, vlogging that again. Because I think that there are some new shops there. There's also Sephora over there, so it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> For those of you who still like your beauty products, you can pick up your cosmetics or makeup. Or if you have a birthday or you're celebrating an anniversary in Hawaii and still need makeup, there's Sephora at Waiters Village, just to let you know. Now that I got out of that traffic, there's a lot of construction that's been going on back there. Um, yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and talk to you guys on the way home. In fact, I'm going to be driving by my local farmer's market but I think I might want to go down tomorrow because they'll actually have um, some fresh baked goods so the lady that I normally go to she'll have that lychee bread mango bread banana bread and guava bread so either I'll buy one of each or buy two of each because the loaves are like about that that big so whatever we don't end up eating within that day, I can put the loaves into the freezer and defrost it as needed. So actually from my house to the beach that I actually go to without traffic, it'll probably take me maybe 18 to 20 minutes or no more than 22 minutes. But like this particular traffic that I was stuck in, when I leave at a certain time during the week, um, they have traffic because there's a little industrial area that you have to drive by before you get down to the beach section because it's close to where the port is where the boat comes in so if I look at my iPhone because I'm filming on my iPhone from the beach to halfway into town and I'm still like five minutes away from my home I was actually in traffic for like 27 minutes so you need to accommodate and see uh, what kind of traffic there is but yeah it's been kind of nice actually going to the beach I actually wasn't vlogging it a lot because I just needed to put myself into a meditative mode where I wasn't on my electronic devices before I even get down to the beach I'll text if I'm by myself I'll text my kids I'll do like a little group text to let them know that um, you know, mom's sitting down to the beach. I'm not going to have my phone. So I'm going to be down there for two to three hours. But yeah, it's been really nice. So besides just walking in my neighborhood, um, going down to the beach and just not having any electronic devices is really nice. It's really nice. Ooh, the farmer's market is open. I'll be open for like another half hour but I think I'm going to come down tomorrow because there's going to be a lot more options plus I need to put myself on a budget because if not I can easily spend a hundred dollars at the farmer's market just on fresh fruit and baked goods so tomorrow is definitely uh, banana bread guava bread mango bread lychee bread uh, maybe a fresh pineapple two fresh mangoes um, some homegrown bananas and look for my honey so some fresh honey and I can use that in my smoothies in my tea and my oatmeal that I eat in the morning so I'll be doing that so the Sun has officially gone down it's overcast but it's still a nice beautiful day in Hilo Hawaii again don't forget to leave me your comments down at the bottom letting me know what do you do to relax do you go to a park do you go to the zoo 
Um, do you like walking? Do you like running? Do you like swimming? A lot of people like to go swimming. I like. I also like to meditate in the morning, at least um, no, a minimum of 50 minutes in the morning, just some quiet time, meditation in my yoga room. So I do that in the morning and I do that at night. And then tonight I'm going to catch up with my journaling. So yeah, let me know what uh, what do you do to kind of zen out. Because I think it's really important that we um, set some time aside on getting off our electronic devices and, you know, have some quality time with your family and quality time uh, for yourself, some me time, some personal time, some pampering time. So leave me your comments down at the bottom. Let me know what you do. Do you journal? Do you do you actually have a gratitude journal? Do you like journaling? Do you do your do you like doing your journaling on your laptop? Do you like doing it on your iPad? Because I know there's all these apps. I actually have a actual uh, paper journal, like a nice a nice expensive journal that I actually found on um, Amazon. If you want to see that journal, I can actually do a separate video on items like my journal, my current books that I've been reading, because I tend to take a book down to the beach with me. Uh, let's see. I ordered two more books from Amazon. So because I spent more time on water than on land, I don't really actually end up finishing up the whole book. So it'll take me a couple of times of going to the beach to finish up the book. So it was really nice today very relaxing I feel like I'm recharged got to spend three and a half or four hours actually down the beach which is really nice I feel like I'm just recharged and regrounded again and if it's nice tomorrow I'll be back back at the beach tomorrow but I need to go to my farmer's market go home and then actually end up going to the beach so I think we're going to end the car vlog here my subdivision is about five minutes away, but I need to top off my car with some gas. I'm going to stop off at the gas station, fill up my car with gas, so I'm good for the rest of the week. And who knows? You might see another car vlog from me, especially if I'm by myself in the car. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys on the way home from the beach. Letting you know to not forget about taking care of yourself, getting off of your electronics every once in a while. So I hope that everyone out there is having a great and productive day. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Aloha from Hawaii, guys. Bye-bye.